through 12 life ain't been hitting on a whole lot of nothing for decades. Tell me for real though, past the 1980s, and if you learned anything, because I was in elementary school uh, most if not all of the 1980s. When can you say you truly learned anything of value that you could take into the real world at school? At least we were able to have teachers, right? But this um, concept we call the K through 12 experiment is at best on life support. Kids getting in the fights, teachers so afraid to step in because they may get hurt, get fired. Administrators making buku money while teachers suffer. It's become a bureaucracy that doesn't work for the students or the teachers. Increasingly, homeschooling is becoming a beautiful thing. I know realistically everybody can't do it. Please do it if you can. And there's nothing more shameful than this. And before I get into the story itself, let's just go on and talk about the hypocrisy here. Had this been a male, they would have taken him to the ringer, calling him all kind of names, shaming him, making sure that his life was over. So basically, these two went on trip, a field trip with some students and some things happened and the only reason that it got around is because one of the two teachers okay sent pictures of herself in lingerie to a student and somehow we can't say who the article didn't exactly say who sent the pictures okay so I'm not gonna put it off on the kid who they were sent to another teacher walked up on them and saw that teacher on the cell phone and said something and turned her into the administrator. The second one is a much older teacher that knew the younger teacher when she was a teenager. And that, and this one, the, the, the one who um, was wearing the lingerie. See, um, this is increasing the amount of lady counterparts who get by with this. Y'all didn't learn from Mary Kay Letourneau and Deborah Lafave and all the others of different races. Caitlin Powell that's on run right now. I don't care about saying her name. I don't care about name dropping. There is a long list of women before you who've gone through this and have gone through public humiliation. See, a lot of y'all are getting lighter sentences in comparison to Mary Kay. Which you shouldn't. But see, here's the thing, though. Let's be real. This has been going on <clears throat> with male teachers and female teachers on a lower scale, in my opinion, for decades. The difference is, when the boys were growing up in my time, you knew that if there was a female teacher, it was a Mrs. Robinson thing and you just kept it quiet. And all the boys were like, ooh, Miss such and such is like this. I'm fortunate that I never knew a teacher in my K-12 that was a woman that was like that. <clears throat> if a man was caught even in the 1990s, half the time his goose was cooked. And in the 21st century, they gonna more than cook, cook your goose. They gonna roast you slow on an open fire. That humiliation is going to be long lasting. See, this, these institutions that you send your kids, public or private, is where dreams go to die. Oh, charter schools, oh this, oh vouchers. You don't think predators don't get in there? Trust and believe if these people never acted on it properly prior to taking jobs. And trust when I say this ain't all teachers. They got themselves in close proximity to enact fantasies. 
oh, this is just something that happened by accident and they're going through a hard time. See, both of them right now are being investigated. The youngest one with the lingerie quit, quit. I forgot what happened with the oldest one. I didn't link this, this article because it's just too depressing, man. Why don't you just say children are a target without saying children are a target? And that so long as it's a man, we'll hold him to the fullest extent of the law and throw him in prison. But so long as it's a woman, she got her Mrs. Robinson on. Not realizing that both young women and young men going to be traumatized from this. The punishments have to get harsher for women as it does their male counterparts. Because so long as it doesn't, it's an injustice to these young men.